。下一个演讲的嘉宾呢是杨军老师啊，杨军老师是杨氏太极拳创始人杨露禅第六代的孙啊，是来孙。呃，这个河北永年啊，这是太极拳的发祥地之一。啊，自幼随随祖父、呃、杨振铎啊、呃、教导开开始学拳啊，这么多年呢，在啊、呃，特别是在海外推广呢，做了很大的贡献。我们这一次呢，非常荣幸荣幸邀请到了杨军老师给大家做一个这个报告。我们先做报告，等一下再给我杨军老师呢做一个这简单的互动介绍一下。好，谢谢。Hello everyone, my name is Yang Jun, and.、Uh... I'm also、uh, living in Seattle, USA.、Uh, I'm president of、uh, International Yang Family Tai Chi Chuan Association.、Uh, first, this is my honor、uh, to be、uh, part of International Tai Chi Science Online Forum, and、uh, also I would like to use this opportunity.、Uh, thank you for Dr. Li's invitation. Uh, for me to be part of it today, I would like、uh, share with everyone、uh, is related with a Tai Chi theory.、Uh, the subject is、uh, understanding on Tai Chi Chuan's principle in distinguish empty and full. We understand Tai Chi Chuan. Is based on Yin Yang philosophy, and、uh, inside of Tai Chi Chuan, we often talking about internal, external, hard and soft, empty and full, storage energy and release energy, neutralize energy and attacking, and、uh, those are all related with a Yin Yang relationship. Uh, when we talk about internal, external, generally we think outside. You know, we have the shape we can see, and from outside you are doing things. And internal, we basically talk about the internal feeling. You will not see it. When we talk about hard and the soft, we understand the subject in hard and the soft is related with、uh, energies. Hard and soft. Then you know when we are,、uh, you know, understanding,、uh, try to understand, to be distinguish empty and full. First, what means empty and full, or let's say, what is a subject for empty and full? Are we talking about? Most people have a direct understanding. Uh, in here is related empty and full with a weight distribution, so which is、uh, often we understand it,、uh, related with uh, uh, you know weight supported by a leg. One is full, the other is empty. Then we are thinking, okay, this is empty and full, full leg, empty leg. Then. Distinguish empty and full means you clear empty and full.、Uh, this is、uh, one of the explanation. So, which is in here, when we talk about the empty and full, means we are discussion on the weight. Actually, when we are talking about empty and full,、uh, there is a relationship, or let's say, related with a weight empty and full. But also there is the other subject is also using empty and full, which is、uh, energy. Energy we do have empty, and also we do have a full. If we want to understand to be distinguished empty and full,、uh, you know, not only we have to. I mean, we just thinking about the weight, then it's enough. Actually, this subject related with empty and full, it also related with energy. So this is a first. I want to be a clear. When we are talking about the empty and full,、uh, there are actually two areas related. One is about weight. Second is about 
energy. Okay, then the next, which is uh, 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 want to be a knowing, uh, how do we, how should we understand empty and full? Uh, often we have uh, this kind of understanding, which is if I put my weight one full one empty, for example, 70% weight on the back, 30% weight on front, then back leg is a full leg, front leg is an empty leg. So this is a common understanding on, you know, to be distinguished empty and full, to be cleared empty and full. So if we are understand empty and full in this way, so here I will say uh, we are probably just understand it part of it. When we talk about empty and fall, clear or distinguished empty and fall, uh, actually they are not really talked about in the position related with your weight distribution. Uh, for instance, if we say this is a way to understand distinguished empty and fall, many times in our movements practice, we do have a certain situation for, ins for instance, prepare, what is the weight distribution? We cannot explain because it's a 50-50%. Is this time I'm not cleared on empty and fall? I'm doing wrong because not only this movement. For example, in Yang style, we have a cross hands. What is the weight distribution in here? It's also 50-50%. And are we wrong? But the movement asks us to do like this. Then we have to think what means to be extinguished and then fall in here. When we talk about uh, empty and fall to be cleared, actually it's not about weight distribution. It's about you are able to transfer from empty to fall, fall to empty, or you are cannot doing it. So which is, uh, uh, you know, when we are try make movements, you know, I can from a fall, uh, transfer it, you know, to be come to empty and from empty become a fall and I can gradually picking up a foot and make the other transition. This is a distinguished empty and fall, okay? And uh, uh, you are able to change between empty and fall, or let's say yin and yang, it's able to continually change. Then this is an idea I want you to understand. And uh, sometimes, if we have uh, some experience with uh, push hands, or you have been practiced with the opponent, you can be uh, very clear on footwork, which is in, you know, empty, or cleared empty and full leg, but sometimes you are unable to make a change. So when you are unable to transfer empty to fall, fall to empty, at this time, actually you are still not cleared on empty and fall, which is you are unable to transfer in it. So in here, I would like you to understand when we are talking about to be distinguished empty and fall, uh, is not about fixed position. It's about you are able to transfer to each other or not. Okay, either way, uh, in here, with the energy, it's the same thing, which is uh, uh, if you can change from a fall to empty, or you know, you can use empty to neutralize your opponent's fall, you can make those changes then you are distinguished empty and fall. You are cleared on empty and fall. If you are unable to change it, then you are not distinguished empty and fall. And in here, what is the empty fall? It's clear, a beneficial for us. The theme on distinguished empty and fall is about agility. So which is, uh, you can flexible to move 
picking up your leg to making step and you can transfer turning uh, make you know uh, the movements what you want to do or free to move is it depends on you are able to transfer in empty to fall and fall to empty this subject if you are unable to transfer you are unable to move then you are losing agility in here so that is about the uh, uh, you know, importance on distinguish empty and fall this subject. Then, what? How can we make empty and fall to be clear? In here, actually, we have a two parts in practice. One by yourself, what you should do, and the second is with your opponent, what you should do. So, when we talk about by ourselves. Actually, it's easy uh, to understand it. The, th uh, the way how you feel you are agile, can move, you are stable, rely on one part of your inside feels, which is, are you able to make f uh, breathing flow? So, which is, if you are able to have a long, natural flow, the breathing, this is about uh, the part we want to keep. So, which is uh, uh, another way to say it by ourselves, we should always remaining qi sinking down to a dantian. Or we can say use abdominal breathing. So, if you are able to remaining abdominal breathing, then you are able to freely to move. You are able to remaining agility in here. And the question is how can I remaining my body to be you know uh, fit with I need for the bracing flow. Generally there is a three area we need to take in care which is one your mind calmed. Second is your external fit with the requirement. For example, like shoulder down, elbow down, lift up your head, then you know, uh, absorbing your chest, relax your waist, uh, those kind of external shape that will help you to make your chi sinking down. Then the third area is related with your energy. If you're too tense, too stiff, then you are unable to make a flow bracing in here. So, which is uh, uh, by yourself, you want to understand, it. I want to keep extinguish empty and fall, I need to have abdominal breathing, I need a chi sinking down. And the three areas need to take in care to remaining my chi able to sinking down. One is mine, second is your external shape or posture. Then the third is the energy. Energy cannot be stiff, you need to be relaxed. If you do these three areas, then you probably able to make your chi sinking down. Then the next part, uh, we also want to be able to chi sinking down, or let's say remaining our extinguished empty and fall, or let's say remaining agility when there is an opponent. Uh, how should I do? I can remaining my you know flexibility in here, I mean, when, when there is an opponent affecting me, uh, the key actually is rely on uh, neutralization. So, which is, uh, if you can neutralize your opponent, whatever the energy they gave to you, if you are uh, able to neutralize it, then you are flexible. If you are unable to neutralize it, your opponent is controlling you. And the neutralization uh, is rely on you are able to make a change. So you can make changes, then you are able to neutralize. And how can we make a change? Uh, change is actually uh, rely on you are able to move, which is uh, you are able to move, then you can do a changes. And you can do changes, then you can do a neutralize. How can we make a movement, can move in there? 
So which is uh, how can we move actually is uh, rely on your agility. And how can we remaining our agility is uh, depends on light, which is you cannot be too stiff, too heavy. Uh, you need to be light. Light you are, more agile you are. And how can I be more light? Do not resist your opponent. Then you can keep touch with the opponent in the light way. Then you are remaining uh, agile. Then you are able to move. You can make a change. Then you can reach to neutralize. So this is a uh, area when you are deal with the opponent. Uh, this is a process how you can be achieve the goal to be a neutralized your opponent. So to here actually in a summary, uh, extinguish empty and fall. Uh, we should understand that this is related with two subject. One is related with weight. Second is about energy. And the distinguished MTM fall is not really about fixed position, uh, weight distribution, or fit, uh, fixed position is about your energy's left, right, uh, weight distribution, uh, I mean energy's distribution. It's about the changes. It's about you are able to transform empty to fall and fall to empty. If you are able to make changes, then you achieve the goal is agility, uh, agility. You are flexible. So, which is the theme of the distinguished empty and fall is about your agility. And uh, to be achieve that goal, you need to pay attention on two sides. One by yourself. What you should do, and the two is with the opponent. What you should do, and this is the content I would like to share with you for this time. Thank you for you are be part of it. Yeah, this is a, a wonderful, it's a unique teaching technique. It's much more detailed, and uh, you know, very good uh, concept to teaching uh, in in the series and also the techniques. Uh, very good. Yeah, Master Yang Yun, uh, please say hi for our uh, audience. First, want to say hi to everyone. And uh, uh, 首先呢,感谢呢,这次李老师呢,特别的邀请,能有机会呢,参与首届国际太极拳科学网络论坛。在此呢,也预祝呢,我们这次活动呢,能够圆满完成。从我的理解来说呢,能尽量通过这个活动呢,因为我们太极拳的作为我来说呢,本身是一个太极拳的推广者。那么,从我小时候的学习呢,更多的呢,是从传统这个思路,或者是中国的文化的底蕴这一条线